Good afternoon. Thank you, you all, for your presentation, for your assistance at the presentation. I am Gavin Almonacid from the University of Jaén. And let me present you the proposal Opera, a digital transformation journey to the best operation and maintenance in photovoltaic solar energy system. Renewable energy in general, and photovoltaics in particular, are growing and expanding exponentially due to the fact that they are reaching, first, competitive costs with conventional electricity, electricity power, and second, technological maturity and reliability, as well as other well-known relevant advantages such as uh, scalability, environmental benefits, etc. As an example of this, I highlight here some phrases from the global market outlook for PV by Solar Power Europe for the period 2016-2020. Between many other things, they say the cost of utility scale solar increasingly beats conventional power plants today. For example, the bidding price in a recent solar tender in Dubai was 2.99 cents of dollar per kilowatt hour. It is really uh, cheaper than many conventional sources of energy, electrical energy. They say also distributed solar is cheaper than retail electricity in many countries. For example, in many places of South of Europe, the price of solar electricity is around or below 10 cents of euro per kilowatt hours. It's cheaper also than the, uh, the, the retail price of the electricity. In the world, the PV energy are going toward 700 kilowatt worldwide installed on 2020. To emphasize all of this, I show in this slide several recent news about renewables. You can see a lot of them every day in newspaper, in TV, or in any other media. Anyway, I would like to note the special interest to apply data technologies in energy sector. The capacity for renewables has overtaken fossil fuels in Great Britain. It is another relevant example of the growth of renewable energies today. It is also important to note that investment in PV is most of the made in renewable. And also, the one made in energy smart technology is very important as well, as you can see in this slide. From the report of the National Renewable Energy Laboratory, one of the most relevant institutions in the world regarding renewables and mainly in photovoltaics, we can set the present market value of operation and maintenance in PV. It is around 10,000 million euros worldwide. In Europe, it's about 1.7 thousand million euros. And in Spain, only in Spain, is around 85 million of euros. Sorry. I would like to know, uh, to point out, sorry, uh, that the, uh, the first suggestion of this report to cost reduction in PV operation and maintenance is to develop, develop and implement management software. Our business proposal is to provide services on management for operation and maintenance in renewable energy installation. Only PV at the beginning, enhancing the performance of the system, the asset management, and with a significant cost reduction in both operation and maintenance and in the service provided. It will be possible with the Opera Digital Platform and also with a new data collection system. 
Opera is a low-cost digital platform based on big data and business intelligence tools. And the second is a low-cost, the, the collection system, the data collection system, is a low-cost and real-time data collection system based on Internet of Things sensor. Both have been developed by an interdisciplinary team led by the University of Haen. Finally, it is important to highlight that this proposal is focused on one of the present key issues in the energy sector. Who are we? We came from the Solar Energy Research Group of the University of Haen, which have been working on PV technology and engineering for the last 30 years. This photo and the other one shown in the next slide are some view of the Univer PV generator a PV system reconnected in our university campus. The photo was taken around 1995, when the Univer project was being installed. Our most relevant milestone are shown in this slide. Between them, I would like to point out the Univer project, a very relevant project in this time. This work provides relevant contribution to grid connected technology. But mainly, I would like to say now to emphasize the worthwhile knowledge and experience that are usually at the university. And in my opinion, the business sector should make the most of it. Let me know to present you a general overview of the Opera Digital Platform. This is a general view of the system based on the Opera platform, data science, data infrastructure, data collection, and the dashboard reports and alarm outputs. Opera is coming to follow the idea expressed in the figure of Gartner, shown in this picture, from descriptive to prescriptive analysis, from what happened to how can we make it happen. Regarding the data infrastructure, Opera is a distributed big data platform based on Ananda architecture with an stream processing platform to publish, store, and subscribe to a string of data, a distributed computing framework for near real-time processing of the string data, a search engine for the string indexing plus visualiz visualization plugin for near real-time monitoring, a machine learning framework for predictive analytics of batch data, and also a distributed, files, a distributed file system for scalar storage of big data. Well, now I must tell you that really I am not the specialist of this area of the proposal. Am I afraid I will not be able to say much more about data infrastructure? Anyway, go on. Regarding the data processing, we walk away starting from the input data, that is to say, the specification of the manufacturer, the meteorological databases, and the real-time collected data from our system. We go on calculating the different performance indices and actual behavior from the actual operation data in parallel with the simulated ones to compare, also in near real-time, the actual and simulated data, generating the corresponding alarms when there, are, there is no conversions. Lastly, the corresponding reports on operating results and operating and maintenance, and maintenance action are prepared. The result feedback the process to optimize the system model and the operation and maintenance recommendation. Now, I would like to show you the most important aspects of Opera data collection system. In this slide, we can see the block diagram of the data collection system. On the left side, there are several sensors to collect the data of the actual operation of the system, current intensity, voltage, and power meter and grid analyzer if necessary. And also, the radiation and temperature data sensor. The working data sensor usually are wire-connected due they are close to the central unit. 
and the two ambient sensor, temperature and radiation, usually are wireless connected via radio interface or similar, due they are often away from the central unit. Everything else in the, in the model is a microprocessor based central unit to send the collected data to the internet. Now, we are using Opera prototype to monitoring operation and maintenance the Univer PV generator. In this slide, we can see the microprocessor unit, the, black, the white block, and the voltage sensor of data collection system, the black ones. There are two voltage sensors because there are two sub generators to monitoring. And now we can see the irradiation and temperature sensor together with the autonomous power supply device. This is a block diagram and picture with a detail of the device that make up the standalone power supplies. A PV micromodule, a lithium battery, and charge controller. They power the wireless interface. Finally, regarding the data collection system prototype implemented in the universe generator, we can see in this picture the two sensors to monitoring the current intensity of the two sub generator. There is a very, usually in the PV generator, there is a very high current intensity, DC current. Let me show now a few slides related to result and interesting, some interesting example of the Opera prototype working on the universe generator. This is an illustrative picture of a possible of a possible dashboard with an information of the place and working parameter of the system under analysis. Now, we can see a picture of the actual working data of the Universal Generator 1 in a recent past week. We see the plot of the current intensity up left, the voltage up right, the simulated and, and measured power generated in the middle left, and also the uh, temperature, the room temperature, the simulated cell temperature, and the measured cell temperature in the corner left down. I would like to note several matters in this picture. It's the same than the first, but uh, with more detail. <coughs> first of all, the good matching between relation, radiation, sorry, I, I mean, between the, the good matching between radiation and current, the simulated and measured cell temperature, and even the shape of the voltage set the good accuracy of the PV model. However, the plot of the generated power showed that the simulated power is overestimated when the cell temperature is high. This should make us question the model for high cell temperature. In this slide, we can see a detectable malfunction because the simulated power is matching the radiation, but the actual one not. Besides, we can see up to three tries to automatic go up power, but pull down again. So it was necessary to send a service technician to turn on the inverter. It had been go down due to an electric insulating fault. I would like to show now a connection a pressure connection with the opera in this moment. We can see, I think, in this moment at 12. This is the actual operation of the universe project just in this moment. It's a similar plot than we 
show in the previous in the previous uh, slide, but now it's real. It's in this moment we are uh, looking what are happening in the in the universe project, and we can uh, release the 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 directive, the recommendation for operation and maintenance. We can see not only today, but uh, yesterday or last week or uh, last 15 minutes, this very flat in only 15 minutes, or this week, you know, really this week the radiation was go down day to day, and so the energy. This shape of the I forget, yeah. this shape of the voltage is in congruence with this this fault because here the voltage is high because there is no generating any power. Well, going to end. In the next future, we need to develop dependent matters. That is to say. Mainly, all topics regarding machine learning and distributed file system. And also, the dashboard and the reports according to the standard EIC 61724. To do it, it would be very welcome early adopter to be able to run Opera in new PV facilities. Also, research and development collaborator to help developing mat pending matters and also stakeholder to help us in financial matter. Finally, as a conclusion, I would like to voice again here the two takeaway ideas of the proposal. New data technologies provide an opportunity for business in renewable energy sector, and Opera Digital Platform, a digital transformation toward to the best performance and profit of PV technologies. Thank you for your attendance. Any question? It's impossible to see nothing with this <laughs> with this light. Well, thank you very much. <laughs>